All right. We're going to go B6. Of course, we got the black pieces for our first game. It had to be. And look at this disrespect. Just disrespect here. Trying to go for the cheesy stuff. Go D5. Now I'm trying to decide taking with the pawn or the knight. Both look okay. Kind of like the knight better. I think B6 is a solid opening, yeah. I mean, it might not be the absolute best, but it's pretty damn good. Knight C3. Hmm. Takes. Queen takes B7. We got a big chief on our hands. So, um... I'm very curious actually about knight c6, strangely enough. Knight takes, takes, bishop takes knight e5. Does that win stuff? No, I guess there's bishop takes f7 there. It's like, that would be a little funny. Um, there's some ideas to go like knight here and then immediately knight e5 or knight d4. Other move is just simply bishop e7 and castle. I think I'm kind of leaning more towards that. Keep it simple. Knight b4. Yeah, I, I never trust ideas where you go like this. Get the pawn and the rook. Because you lose this. And you're probably going to lose your knight too. This castle. Now I, now I like the knight moves next. Ooh, this move looks a little ambitious. My opponent's played a3, h4. It's time for some stuff in the center here. So I'm not really going to think about this move. I'm just going to play it. It quote-unquote hangs upon here. But there's going to be knight e5 or knight d4 coming in. Queen e4. Interesting. Not a bad move. Takes a knight a5, gets the bishop. That's already a, a pretty good thing. Knight a5, I think, forces this. So I'm probably going to start with knight a5. Guards the bishop, which means that if this guy moves, I can play knight takes c3. And the queen will actually be attacked. Which is easy to forget. But at this point, even if this wasn't protected, I would have knight takes a2 as well. So it does look good for me. Now, this looks pretty tough to recover from because you're going to be down. You're going to be down material here. Let's take. And let's protect what I think is the only threat. Bishop f6. Yeah, now I think we can sort of cash in here. Everything seems to be loose. You save the rook, rook a1, then queen takes g2. And we're looking for a queen trade. We're looking to trade pieces. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, though. I feel like I've seen this before. Hmm. Technically, this should be the best move. Takes, takes on a1. Okay, we'll give it a check here. And, I mean, it really all looks good, but let's, let's keep this. I could decide to take, give up my bishop, kind of trades down effectively, but I'll keep the bishop pair for the moment. Oh, we forgot about it. Okay, that's for me. Low to ESAT. We're going to put our king on h8. 
Rook on uh, G8. Oh, and that's going to be even more material for me. That's too much, surely. Surely that's too much. Cut the king off. And we'll do our best to keep the king cut here. He's fast? Are you talking about my opponent? I think, uh, surely he's going to resign. No, no, no. He has to resign. <laughs> this could get very, very disturbing. <laughs> he has to resign. You guys think he's tapping out? Ever? This is, this is tough. This uh, is looking a little rough for my guy here. I'm I'm also like We're going to hit 50 moves, I think. I think this is a 50 mover. I think I know what must be done. I know what must be done, guys. I think I've, I've decided how this is going to be executed. First of all, we're going to need to put this here. Please no 50 moves. Was the fifty? Oh, I was gonna say if you went the other way, then I don't think I would be able to do what I was trying to do. Okay. Yes, yeah, so reset the counter. Okay. Now we have to find a, a splendid way now to uh, remove all of our pieces. Except these two.
we need to. I think it's easier when he's uh, boxed on the side. Oh, he's going to run out of time. No. My masterpiece. Hey, come back here. Hey, come back, dude. <laughs> he didn't have enough time. That's yeah, not my fault. We're going to be playing B6. against everything. Okay, E6 is normally the follow-up. Should be four, I think I'll throw in there. Nice check. Okay, there's some threats here. Something needs to defend. He goes with the bishop. Knight e4 is indeed a threat. So I think I'm going to take here. And why not? Let's double up the pawns. Okay. A4, A5. A4 is still a decent move, though. If you get to play A5 as white, it's pretty comfy. I'm stopping C5. D5 is a move we love to see. Yeah, you're always happy to see D5 in general. This bishop looks like it sucks right now. It does, but it'll come back to C8 and reroute nicely. Our knight's going to end up there. If A4, we'll just play A5. C5 is covered, and we'll also probably think about F5. Definitely going to stop that pawn in its tracks. Knight C5 is going to hit it permanently for the rest of the game. F5 is also a nice move because Knight, knight G5 can't be played. So I do like uh, the move F5 in general. I think I'm going to go for it. Knight G5, tempting, but not possible. Wow, that is a hyper aggro move. Takes, takes. Well, in fact, takes, I can't tell if he's trying to play knight g5. It obviously still doesn't work, but I really feel like he's thinking about it. Hmm. G4. Something don't feel right about that move, I'll tell you that. Let's take. Just have this feeling that he might try to play this move and blunder it. Uh, okay, he plays that. Knight c5. Again, he still can't go here. I'm trying to play bishop back to c8 next. Yeah, I I was just feeling that he was going to be playing knight, knight g5. It's unfortunate. And he's going to resign right away. Nice quick win. Yeah, it's just uh, one of those moves so tempting. You're threatening checkmate in one. You're almost winning the game, but just kind of knew that he would play. A lot of times your bishop on this square defends the knight. So you don't have to worry about it not being protected by a pawn or anything. But with no bishop here and the pawn in the way, there was, there was no knight g5 to be had. Yeah, I kind of had a sneaky suspicion that he was going for it. We'll get another game in. All right. Well, you guys know the deal. It's time for b6. Not going to pre-move that. That's my first tip. Never pre-move this. Never pre-move a fianchetto. That's just a good habit. Okay, takes, bishop takes, and knight g5 is a good little trick, so we won't walk into that. Let's go here. 
d3, d5, followed by d4 is often a way that I've seen um, things get pretty bad for, for white pretty quickly. Okay, we're going to go for it. d5, takes, takes. d4 is coming next. And especially if they check us, um, you know, essentially the bishop ends up on b3 one way or another. And because on b3, when I do this move, there's no a3, b4. There's just a3. And the bishop is like blocking white's resource. So let's take. I've definitely seen this one before. I, so far, my illustrious career have not gotten mated, I believe. Takes 95. But, uh, you know, there's a first time for everything. Takes an 85 king f8 to me seems the simplest. Probably what I'm going to do. Okay, it goes to g5. I'm not sure which knight move is honestly better. Like, knight e5 means that you can play queen h5, and I don't have this. So now, after this move, I'm thinking more like king e8, because this one has an answer. Whereas knight e5 stops, yeah, stops this. This one, however, I know I can't go king f8 because knight e6 check. These moves look really wrong, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go here and uh, see what he, my opponent does. Well, any kind of queen trade, you gotta feel like is <laughs> to my to my liking here. So I will offer it. Plus, don't forget, we got a knight hanging here. I'm up a piece, and there's a knight hanging. Not bad. You definitely don't want to trade more pieces here, so... Yeah, not bishop takes, but... There's no way my opponent's position is very good, given the circumstances. Two extra pieces... Let's make sure to trade those queens. And if bishop e7, knight e6, I'm uh, not sure about that. Threatens this and knight c7. So I'm thinking more like bishop d6. Guarding c7. Okay, probably king d7 after we get checked. Not too many times in your career you get to play a king check. Feels good. It's not the rarest thing, but always feels nice. Let's finish development. Rookie 8. Yeah, we don't mind. We're ready to trade. I'm up two pieces, right? That should be my, my cue to trade everything. Okay, let's oops, double up. Takes, takes, and rookie one drops uh, some material. Not the easiest to see. And what are we going to do here? Okay, doesn't look the best to allow the check. Um, night before... Not quite, not quite there. But we'll make it work. Knight d5 as well. Seems like all the pieces get activated here. Okay. That move is exactly what we want to see. There we go. 
We're able to take out the eyes of Cosmos. In all life, there is rhythm. Thanks for the four months with Twitch Prime. All right. This will be a warm-up game. We'll see if we can... This is just for fun. We'll try to win in under 28 and a half moves. Oh, I just realized if I'm white, 28 and a half moves means that I get to make my 29th move? Or no? I get to make my 28th move? Because technically the 28th move is like not complete until both players make it. So confusing. I have to think about that. How do we get a quick win here? Let's go here. Uh, I don't like this. But he's playing real solid here. Let's play G5, G4. This isn't for the challenge. This is just me. Just me trying to spice it up here. I'm just trying to give it a go. See how tough it is. This isn't London, so it's not going to count. But I, I'm just practicing it. I'm getting a warm up in. Let's go, G4. I gotta drum up some like major attack here. Okay. Right there, let's go back. Big Sebastian. Well, there's a few moves that can happen. I'm hoping for this, 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 takes somehow, and then we win down a queen for the fans. Winning a piece is, I mean, it's a good thing, but I've already used 10 of my moves, so. Because it's not about winning the games, but winning the game quickly. This is a strong move coming up. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be strong. Here, maybe Queen H five and take. Damn. Who is this lad? Queen f4? We might have to take this and try to make something happen on the diagonals here. I think we'll take. If he moves the rook, he can start running the king that way. So let's definitely uh, force the king there. Um, I want to play knight h5, takes f4, but when he plays rook g1, I want to be able to play king e7. Right, move 17. So we have like 10 more moves. Looking dire. But there is a hope and a prayer. Unfortunately, after rook g1, knight g4, it's so easy for him to play h3, and then after knight f2, I don't have a mate. So we probably have to play this move. I 
Whoa. Boy, are we happy to see you. <laughs> Whoa. Why, thank you. E5 is probably the <laughs> nicest move that we could have seen. Knight takes. Rook there. Still tough to get that win, though. We're on move 20, by the way. Knight d4, rook here. It's still not really working. Let's take. The problem with knight d4 is then that knight's hanging as well. This either works out to under 28 or it doesn't. I, it's not something you can really calculate. Damn this guy. Damn this guy. I've got a great looking position. Great looking position. But I'm going to need him to make some errors like this. Rook g4, f5. Really going to need the lad to blunder here. We're on move 23. The Wonder McBlunder. Thanks for 23 months as well. Okay. I don't think we're going to manage it. Damn. Okay, so that's, that's good to know. That's good intel. Because... Uh, by the time we made him, it's probably going to be... I mean, let me still try to do it as efficiently as possible. Thirty-two moves. My thirty-second move as black. So, okay. Alright. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, Shane Doe. Alright. We got Shane Doe here. We're going to play B6. Ooh, a3, interesting. I assume knight, yeah. Knight c3. Let's go d5. I did enjoy Gommel. It was very, very, uh, very, very sick. In-person uh, smash event. Okay, that's for me. That is for me. What's going to happen next? Bishop G2 is nasty. That's a pretty good move, I got to admit. I got to admit, bruh. Not too bad, not too shabby. And leave it there and take a next move, maybe. Queen d5 looks like a little much. <laughs> little much long eggs. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys will probably get me playing Smash soon enough. It'll happen. I, I really enjoyed the event. I thought it was put on better than a, a lot of chess events. That's for sure. Um... I mean, I guess we just take this material. What else is new? <laughs> Feels so unfulfilling. I don't even have a check. Oh well.
I'm thinking about taking and then taking, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Although this move plays directly against it. Okay, I'm really getting, uh, I'm really getting like checkmate vibes here. We might have to see this one through. We might have to see this one through. Gonna have to bring this bishop back. Now, bishop takes h1, surely possible. You know, it's a good looking move. But I'm looking for better than that. Here I can't do, but I can do this one. I'm, I'm all in. In fact, I'm gonna pre-move this. Hoping that he takes my bishop. This would be key. Okay, it's taking too long. No, no, he's thinking about my threat. It's taking too long. We had an abort mission. Yeah, uh, he's, he's trying to uh, beeline it out of there. You can just tell. The guy's really trying to say goodbye. The knight f3 is uh, pretty funny that after he castles, it traps his queen. Like, that is pretty cute. And the rest of the squares are taken by his own pieces. You know, that's cute. Yeah, it's something. I'm sure he probably has some tactic or another here not to be like completely lost. Because I've ruined my whole position just to go for this. I am I am behind in general. Yeah, so he goes here. He is gonna save his queen, um, it looks like, but can queen d7 be played? This is just a free piece. Quite tempting to take, but honestly, queen d7. I think I'm getting his queen, so I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm going all in on uh, this queen trap. Looking reliable so far. Dr. Lord Mayonnaise is, you know, he's been repelled. I don't think he's looking to, uh, don't look, think he's looking to bet anymore. Once he saw 22 moves, that put the guy out. This guy's also getting put out here. I mean, the queen, <laughs> the queen is, it is trapped. Now the gig is up. I think what could happen potentially is I just win 10 games in a row as white in under 28.5 moves. I think that could just realistically happen. Dr. Lord Mayonnaise will be hustled just like his last date he was on. At Top Golf. Ooh, the resignation. How many moves was that, just for reference? 15. We need some early resigners now that Dr. Lord is here. Nothing a cliff bar won't fix. All right. Potentially next game. Oh, crunchy peanut butter, buddy. Elite flavor. It was great, Benjamin. Got a 
Some nice sunset vibes in. Thank you, Shifty. Good reminder, if you guys haven't seen our latest YouTube video, exclamation mark, new vid. I'm in the park, playing some chess hustlers. Came across a pretty interesting guy. Had to KO him for the boys. As you can see, Dr. Lord Mayonnaise, I'm getting in shape, you know? I'm training. I'm hitting the speed bag. Getting a few bites of the cliff bar in. Exactly trouble with chest space. All right, let's go. Let's go. Under 28 and a half moves. Next game. <laughs> it's only with the white pieces. I thought we might get white, but no. Just stop controlling me. <laughs> Let's get a quick KO here. Yep. Let's get quick KO, quick KO. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, sure. Maybe Bishop takes, yep. Castle, yep, yep. For sure. Awesome 95, thanks for 21 months with Twitch Prime. Yep, appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate you, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Do we go here? It's not even going to be like fully checkmate, but we'll still go here. We're going to build a shell here. Quick KOs. Nighty three on the cards. You need a resignation from Buddy. He's at, we're at 20 moves. Yep, that's the resignation. He's tilted. Yep, oh yeah. That's cool, bad. We're gonna get uh we're gonna get it done here. There we go. Our London speed run. I mean the games with the black pieces, I think it's still uh still useful to see this opening, one of my favorites. But with the white pieces, we're focused on the London. When will he become a believer? That is a great question. Let's maybe get ready to swing out. Now, the question is, is Buddy the type to play that? My good friend here. I guess I am threatening C2, I just noticed that. So this, this makes more sense when you factor that in. Queen takes here. Rook takes, queen takes, I guess, is a bit of a mess. Probably go for it.
<laughs> what threats do I have? <laughs> Where are my threats? I can take on F2, but he's going to have a bunch of checks coming my way. So we should probably take on F2 with the knight. But then queen takes. Bishop takes. And we enter a beautiful, beautiful winning endgame. We're going to take here. Because queen takes. Yes, you can try that because then this hangs. But the weird thing about the position is I have knight h3 that I can throw in there. Knight h3 is a big time threat. We're getting, we could be two games away from uh, 1100 as well. I'm thinking you can play queen takes g7. That's what I was calculating for. Queen takes g7. Ooh, but if he's playing this, I don't know what he's doing next. Uh, that ain't it, chief. GG. Let's see. If we get another game, plus 8, we could hit 1100 on the dot. We didn't get white, and we didn't get a plus 8. <laughs> this is still the game for 1100. Let's get a quick KO to show Dr. Lord that uh, we've still got it. What the... Are you good, bro? <laughs> what is going on? You good, bro? If only I had a check here, the king would be made it. I have no check. Damn it. Damn it. He's got the B2 square now. Take my knight. Okay, I wasn't serious. I thought that this... <laughs> E5 forces him out. As long as he's coming in my direction, this has got to be good. Now we'll play queen here to stop him from going back to either one of those squares. And as long as he's coming down the board, I think we should be fine. Keep walking down the board, buddy guy, pal. Check. Hmm. Er.
<laughs> looking for a lot better here. You guys see some uh, good moves. Very strong chat today. Okay, surely there has to still be a mate here. Surely. <laughs> he said, hopefully. <laughs> It just, it just it just has to be the, the dirtiest stuff you've ever seen. Every time, you always have to do better. As an artist, you're only as good as your last masterpiece. <laughs> 